If you have got an ivy bush in your garden at this time of the year, it's now just it's, uh, autumn today, isn't it, in the UK? But if you've got ivy, you might think that you've got a wasp nest, a bee's nest, something like that. But really what it is, this is an ivy bush and look at all these little flowers. Now, some of these will be wasps. Some of them will be honeybees. Some of them will even be bumblebees, like that little darling there. There's one. That's, that's, that's a honeybee. But there's also a bees. species of bee that's called an ivy bee. I think that was one you were just looking at there. There's one there. And they're a solitary bee. And uh, they're not going to cause you any harm. Best thing to do is just let the bees and the wasps do what they want to do. This is kind of the last pollen of the year, so don't cut it down either. Look after the bees. Sometimes you have to look after the wasps a little bit as well. But that's basically why you've got loads of bees or wasps all over an ivy bush in your garden. This will be why. Ow! <laughs> the bees are having a little fight there. I think and I got involved. It's amazing how many insects are on that, isn't it? Yeah, this is an ivy bee, this one here. It's got this slightly... Yeah, that one's one, this one. That one there. They look very similar to honeybees. Yes. Yeah. Almost like a cross between a honeybee and a wasp. Yeah, that's one there. But they're not going to sting you. Uh, they're just after the last bit of pollen and the last bit of uh, nectar. nectar. Yeah. Oh. And this is where the bright yellow pollen has been coming into our hives as well, Ricky, because you can see it's been oh, yeah. bright, bright yellow, isn't it? Hope that helps you. And you might like this little video right here or this little video here. And why not give us a subscribe? That really helps. And give us a thumbs up on the videos, eh? But look at all these beasties. They're beautiful, aren't they? You gonna land on my finger? <laughs> Not quite. That is one there, isn't it? That's full of pollen, isn't it? Look, all the bees at my house have been coming back with that pollen as well. Very important for them. I don't know why that bumblebee's out, but I ain't gonna tell him, are you?